today I'm gonna to talk about how I recruited over 300 people in my network marketing business, what worked for me and what will work for you. So first I'm gonna share with you the biggest mistake that people make when trying to recruit it's really frustrating. Next, I'm gonna walk you through the actual steps that you need to take if you want to be a super recruiter. And lastly, I'm gonna share with you the big mistake that can take even the best recruiters out of the game. So what is this big mistake that people make when they're trying to recruit? The big mistake is trying to recruit someone out of position, out of position. What I mean by position is position zero which is where you start with all people around you, is you don't know if they're open. You don't know if they're open to learning more. You don't know if they're interested in an opportunity or your product or your service or whatever. When you are trying to close that person that's not in the closing position, not only does it frustrate you because your results are probably not gonna be that great, but it also kind of turns them off. So let me give you an analogy. So if the guy walks up to the girl at the hotel bar and says, I got a room upstairs. Well, I'm not saying that'll never work, but that's a little spammy. It makes some assumptions. Same scenario and guy says, hey, are you here with anyone? Can I buy you a drink, right? That's a testing of openness, right? It's not a, not a close, it's a testing of openness. Right? Are you open for me to continue the pursuit that I have? <laughs> Whatever that is, which is always marriage, of course. With network marketing, your first step with every individual is see if they're open. If they're not, that's okay. It is not to get everyone to be open or to close everybody. Not only is that gonna to be too much energy for you, you're gonna lose a lot of friends. You may have heard the term, the NFL, the no friends left, right? You may have heard that. That's because someone was pushing in the, and, and they were in the wrong position. There should be no friend loss when you're in network marketing, only if you're trying to pressure them or shame them or guilt them. I, I helped you move in college. Least you could do is buy my product. Just put yourself in a different business, right? So let's say you bought a lumber yard, right? If you bought a lumber yard, would you go to your friends and family and say, come on, buy a Buy some plywood. No, that'd be very strange. I don't, well, Junior, I don't need any plywood. Just buy some and support me, you dream stealer. You would never do that because it makes no damn sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. And so first, see if someone's open. If they're not, it's okay. That's not a damnation to your soul. That's not them su not supporting you or them being toxic. If they don't want what you have, it's not toxic, that's human. It's okay. Don't have a friend tax that if they don't buy from you that you shame them or make them feel bad. Very silly. But whether they're friends or not, your mission is see if they're open. If they're open, we move forward. Maybe I get them on a video and this is called the pipeline, right? I'm seeing, are you open? Oh, you're open, great. I have a video, does a better job than I could do explaining it. How soon can you watch this video? Great, you watch the video. Hey, what'd you like about it? Oh, you liked it, cool. Well, wh where do you see yourself? Right? These, these are some of the steps that you need. This is part of, part of the pipeline. If you, you know, they watch the video, hey, did you like the video? No, I hated it, it was terrible, this is a terrible idea. Got it, okay, sorry to hear that, <laughs> right? And so like, you know, we don't, we don't move forward, we don't move to the next step. When are you ready to join? Because that makes no sense. And so the biggest thing you need to understand is what is the position of the prospect? If you're just trying to close everyone, you're gonna be really frustrated. So I touched on this a little bit, but what are the steps to recruiting more people? Well, the steps are you need to combine marketing and prospecting to get yourself in front of people to see if they're open and then get them in front of your opportunity, your product or your service, right? And so what were the steps that I did to recruit over 300 people? Well, I just did them a lot. <laughs> and so there were three things that I did in my daily routine. I had read a book called Go For No, which uh, you know I'm, I'm good friends with the authors now. We've actually co-authored a book, Go For No For Network Marketing. And although that book may sound a little you know strange, like who wants to go for no, 
in any kind of sales, you are going to get more no's than yeses. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're selling. You're going to get more no's than yeses. That's just, that's just how it works. Even if you're really positive minded, you're going to get more no's than yeses. And so this book taught me to get over my resistance to rejection and my reaction to rejection. And so I'm like, you know what? What would make success inevitable? I bet if I went for 20 no's a day, I bet I could get to the top of this comp plan pretty quick. And that's what I did. That's what helped me recruit so many people is simply because I asked a lot of people. I would argue that I was the number one income earner in that company because I asked more people than anybody else. Now, skill does play a part, right? So I improved my skill over the years and got better and got better and got better. You do want to improve your skill. It's not just just get no's, don't worry about it, right? Improving your skill, but also getting no's and getting that rejection is, is very powerful. So I went for 20 no's a day. I didn't like prospecting. I didn't like reaching out to people. I wanted to get people reaching out to me. So I started doing a video a day. And so those videos a day, at first, no one's watching them. They suck, nothing's happening. But eventually they started taking off. In fact, there was a time where I was generating over 3000 leads a month without ads all from these free videos that I've been pumping out. And so that is getting me in front of more people, whether it's prospecting or whether it's marketing. Now, one piece that people forget about is follow-up. I was ruthless at follow-up. In fact, I was at a, I did a training in Fort Myers, Florida a couple years ago, and I was teaching follow-up. And there was a guy in the audience and he said, you know, hey, can I share something? And I'm, you know, sure. And this is a guy that I've known for many years. He used to work for a, uh, a payroll company. And he goes, hey, I wanna show everyone my phone. And so he showed his phone and I didn't even, I didn't know what he was gonna show and I honestly, I didn't remember. But I was trying to recruit him. And I followed up with him like every other month for years. So it would be like, hey man, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing this new thing. I don't know if you're open to it or not. And he'd be like, no, I'm good. Okay, cool. Hey man, I know it's not a fit for you, but do you know anybody who wants to make some extra money? No, no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, hey man, I'm having a get together. I'd love to introduce you to some people. We're going over a new project. <laughs> And so like none of them were like in his face of, hey, you should do this or you're an idiot if you don't, like none of that stuff. But it was a constant dripping upon for years of me continuing to inform him about what I was doing. Now, interestingly enough, he never did join me. He joined a different company um, and then, but he did show up to my training. So that was kind of cool. Are you following up? Because if you're not, you're working so too hard. You're, you're working way, way, way too hard. For you to have to generate enough people, and not only that, generate enough people that make a move on their first conversation, like the unicorn. Like I, I had people that joined in the first conversation, but very rare. I mean, it was usually I had to get them on a video, then I'd have to follow up with them, then they would, you know, miss the call, then I'd have to follow up with them, right? It was usually multiple points of contact for them to make a move. If you're not following up, you're working way, way too hard. With that follow up, obviously, you're taking them to the close. And this is way simpler than most people make it. The close is just simply, hey, uh, what did you like about what you saw? Can you see yourself doing this? Sounds to me like you're ready to join. And yes, there are objections and we cover those in different videos and things like that, but don't overcomplicate this part. It starts with how many people are you getting in front of? Because if you're only getting in front of three people and you're trying to close one of the three or all of the three, then you're probably pretty frustrated. Talk to more people and your business will thrive. So before I get to my last point, I wanna see if you're open. Are you open to subscribing? I mean, I'm putting some good value out here and I wanna help you as a network marketer. So if you're open, click that subscribe button. Okay, so what is the big mistake that even big recruiters can make and that knocks them out of the game? And that is not understanding culture. Now, you've heard that word, right? But I, I have, unless you follow my training, you probably don't know what I mean when I say the word culture. Culture is the making of people to feel good regardless of their level of desire or level of result. I'm gonna say that again. The making of people to feel good regardless of their level of desire or level of result. So the number one source of frustration for the recruiter is my people aren't doing anything. They get mad, right? Sometimes they, they, they feel guilty. 
right? They joined and they want to make money, but but they're not. And so they, they feel bad. They feel guilty. They feel like I need to step it up. I'm not doing enough. And it really screws them up. You have to understand what we call, we, we uh, lovingly call the Thompson rule. A good friend of mine, and he was a, a member of our mastermind, Larry Thompson. He's been training network marketing for over 50 years. And he came up with this rule. And from my observation over the last 10, 12 years, uh, it's absolutely 100% true. Most people aren't in network marketing to make big money. <sighs> right? Shocker. Here's the breakdown, the Thompson rule. 80% of people, they're in a network marketing company to make zero to $500 a month. Why? Because either they wanna to belong to something cool and they wanna be part of the gang and they wanna make new friends or their level of belief is under $500 a month. And so this is why it's a mistake for in marketing for you to say, make $10,000 a month. Most people don't think they can do that. So they'll actually not join because they don't think they can do that. And so 80% of your organization right now has a desire level of zero to $500 a month. Now, is that a problem? It's not a problem unless you make it a problem. So if you look at the people in your team as they should all be making money and they should all be as motivated as me, then you're gonna have a retention problem. And I have leaders that say, you know, I, my culture is like amazing and stuff, but, but it's just my retention sucks. Well, uh, that's, that doesn't make any sense, right? My marriage is really awesome, but she kind of hates me. You know, that doesn't make any sense. Retention is from your culture. So if you have bad retention, people leaving all the time and not, not sticking around, it's your culture. Right, it's, it's too late, they've, they've, they've already left. So it's your culture that is the, the problem and you can solve that, you can solve that. What do you do? Stop cramming your goals down everyone's throat as if it should be theirs. The best, the best practicer of this, the most amazing role model for you, the gym owner. How many people in the gym have six pack abs? How many people in the gym are ripped to shreds just walking around? And maybe you're in a bodybuilding gym and, and, and that is everybody, but in most gyms, there's a wide range of people that go there. There's the guy that goes on the treadmill every day, literally never changes shape, right? He's been going there 10 years. He's literally in the same exact status. There's people that go there and they just kind of hang by the water cooler. Hey, what are you up to, Susie? Right? They're there to hit on people. There's there people that go in, they just get their 2200 peanut butter banana chocolate shake, walk out the door, take a selfie by the dumbbells they didn't lift, right? All varying levels of desire. Now, is the gym owner like stressed out, like, oh, God. Why aren't they all ripped? Why aren't they stronger? No, he likes their auto ship. I mean, membership, I, I get those confused sometimes. So if I go into the gym and I do four minutes on the treadmill, whoo, take a picture by the 100 pound dumbbells I didn't lift, post on Instagram, of course, and go get my 2200 peanut butter banana chocolate shake, walk out the door, what does the gym owner say to me? Does the gym owner say, lift your shirt, boy? Hey, you didn't do any deadlifts. No, he says, hey, way to kill it, buddy. Right, that's culture. He makes me feel good, regardless of my level of desire or level of result. So network marketing leadership is not about intensity. It's not about you calling them and what can I do to get you motivated finally? Listen, they felt like a disappointment from their parents. We all did in some way, shape or form, most of us anyway. And so they don't need that crap. Your network marketing business is the most voluntary relationship they have in their life. It's hard to leave their boss, it's hard to leave their spouse, it's hard to leave the kids, easy to leave you. If you make them feel bad for their level of desire, level of result, they gonna leave you. They're gone. They're gonna stop. They, will, they, they can't figure anything out in the back office, but they'll figure out how to cancel. They always do. They'll navigate the 27 steps, they'll fax it over here, they'll you know drop the USB gift off or whatever, right? They will figure out how to cancel if you make them feel bad. Now. The other levels, 80%, zero to $500 a month, 15%, they wanna make two to 3,000 a month. If they get there, they're happy, they're good as can be. Only 5% wanna make $25,000 or more a month and are truly doing the personal production to get there, only 5%. But if you treat everyone like everyone should be 5%ers, then they're going to feel bad, they're gonna feel like a disappointment and they don't like that feeling. It's a they're they're not gonna to pay to feel like a disappointment in their life, so they're going to leave. Understanding culture. 
so important for you, so important. It takes out even the best recruiters. They get frustrated because not enough people are doing stuff. Stop needing them to do stuff. Work the numbers, bring more people in. You will find people that want to run. And when they raise their hand, just like if I go to the gym, if I go to the gym and I say, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to get diesel. What will the gym owner do? Well, we got CrossFit. You got to get some more you know, tattoos, but you can do CrossFit. Uh, you got, uh, we got a personal trainer over there. He will point, he or she will point, guide, or direct me to what I need to do to get my desire, my, my level of desire. And so understand culture. All right, so I hope that was helpful because not only did we talk about recruiting more, but we also talked about retaining more. Very, very important. If you want to dive deeper on that, I would highly suggest my book, Freakishly Effective Leadership for Network Marketing. This is something that will really help you understand how to implement culture in your organization. And if you'd like to pick up your copy, there's a link in the description. It's right on Amazon. So go and get it if you want to improve your culture.